What is going on, everybody? It's the Fat Tape bringing us another video, and we are here after the Leroy trailer that we just did, and, and we did a breakdown for that. We have the second character that was also revealed at Evil Japan. We have Asuka Kazama. Now, this one I'm very excited for. Now, the outfit is growing on me a bit. I'm not gonna lie to you. I kind of didn't like it the first time around. It's kind of growing on me. All right, maybe it's the hat. I don't know, but she does look a lot smoother in the game in terms of skin and all that stuff and then the outfit basically she's a schoolgirl, which is cool uh, i think that actually fits her a lot uh but me personally i mean there's a lot of better outfits that she has i'm not gonna lie to you there's a lot of better outfits uh this isn't the best one but definitely on you know right on that scale of hey this is my character and this is what i stand for and she's a schoolgirl. all right makes sense but the most important thing that I took away from this trailer is that she's a real powerhouse character now. Now she, and within this gameplay, when I first reacted to it, she is a powerhouse character, like a legitimately a powerhouse character. Now we already knew that from previous games, like she was definitely a hard hitting character, but it seems more prominent in in this trailer here. And it, what they're going for in Tekken 8 is to make sure that these characters are legit showing what they are. Like Nina being Aikido and also having the assassination guns, right? That's something that Nina should have or should have been presenting in either Tekken that we've, we've seen so far, right? The aesthetics are, it's, it's growing on me heavily and they're really showing what these characters should be doing. This is what Tekken 8's about. So, we're going to watch this trailer. We're actually going to just break it down. No reaction. Like I said, I already reacted to it. Uh, when it first came out, I was up at 3 in the morning <laughs> watching this stuff. So we're not going to react. We're just going to break it down completely. And we're going to get right to it. Let's do it. Like I said, the fit's kind of growing on me. It's kind of growing on me. I'm not going to say anything. It's kind of growing on me. Rides in with the bike. Our original intro. All right, so we're starting off here. I like a tracking four, four, two. It looks like, and it looks hella plus. Like, <laughs> the only thing about Oscar is that the more she grows in terms of offense, the harder she's gonna be to just like defeat. Cause her her defense is just as great. Like me personally, I think she's a defensive character, but they're really adding the offensive swing to her, right? So we have three one there, also majorly plus, and then like a double like axe like. This is a baseball bat axe <laughs> and just tosses you flying, right? And it like it tracked. He tried to stop it, it like it just completely tracked and destroyed him. So he he blocks she blocks a down back three. Wall staying two and then there's a grab with this and then a stomp. So we this is the only thing that they're showing for that stance so far, right? After that grab. That she gets a uh a stomp there on your toes and sends you to the ground. Now that could be a whole nother mix there. That could be a min mix as well. Which is what I'm thinking, but this is insane, right? And then a four, four, a four, two to follow up with here, and it gets a point. Now I don't know what that point is for. It could be like a grow in terms of heat uh, during the match, because I know that King can also do this with his grabs, where he can replenish his heat with using certain grabs that are untackable. That's insane, right? <laughs> <laughs> King's gonna be broken, but anyway, we're not talking about King. We're talking about Oscar Kazama here. But uh, gets that point off right after. I'm thinking it's to replenish her heat or to start building up heat uh, because you're you're able to actually only use it uh, per round, of course. Uh, but once you use it, it's gone. Uh, but I'm thinking maybe mid match you can just build it back up. I'm not sure, but that point has to be for something, right? Has to be for something. So four two launch it up four three. 2-1 looks like a 1, I believe. And then, like, a, a punch to the ground. Like, she's definitely showing the powerhouse strat right now. So, it just punches the ground there, and that's the ender for that combo, though. Uh, I'm not sure what this kick is, though. Let's look back at the combo real quick. Gets the tail flip here, and then the punch to the ground. Now, that's a new kick. I'm not sure. Maybe it's, like, a back forward 3. Or, or it looks like a back forward 4, I believe. Gets the point here, right? Now, gets a new kick as well for a flip for the re-wall splat, right? Down back, it looks like, yeah, that's down back 1-4, I believe, which is, or down back 1, 3 plus 4 for the uh, tail flip and re-wall splat. And then gets the punch here, which I'm thinking maybe that's the build-up. Maybe you're build, maybe you're using that point just to build up that punch there at the wall, because look at Leroy, he, his, he's on the ground in agony, right? And he has, she has a lot of time to make a follow happen. And she does down 4-3 for the follow. Or you could do 4-2. Four, 4-2 four, two, two, four, two do, also does the same thing. Uh, but uses down 4-3 there. 
Okay, this is very important because this is a Tekken 5 move, right? This is a very old school move that wasn't put into the game for Tekken 7. This is an old school move, right? So I'm not sure what the input's going to be. I forget the input. I'm not going to lie to you. It's been a very long time since i played Tekken 5. Uh, but does this here and gets a low parry with it. Imagine a low parry. So she basically has the mid parry. She has a high parry, a mid parry, and a low parry. And this is what she's supposed to do anyway. She's a very parry heavy character and this is what she's supposed to do so now she has that low period right and gets a launch here right heat smash which basically is her 441 from tekken 7 same thing but this is now her heat smash right down back uh one three four or three plus four forward forward four to just kind of get like them up in the air and then four one plus two which is her power crush it's a high power crush which is sick down back one plus two, and then a new heat uh, heat dash uh, move there, which I'm not sure what it is. It was definitely a two move. Uh, maybe it's just grabbing two two after that. I'm not sure it could be connected, but using that there. Now I don't know what that is. That looks like a down three plus four can can kick into a dive kick. That's completely freaking sick. There's her high power crush there, and it also heat engages, which is sick. Don't know what that double axe handle is once a, once again, <laughs> but since Jen flying and it causes a tail flip basically, running three, one plus four into two four four two one. Side step two also heat engages and gets you the heat dash tail flip there as well four four two one plus two. Now that was definitely two three, uh, and it also still counter hit launches, and here is your rage art. And I actually really love her rage art. Kicks you up in the air here. Blows up the fist. Fire. Now, if you watch uh, Hunter x Hunter, you know exactly where this comes from. <laughs> Sick stuff. She looks great. I, I do like the character. She's a real powerhouse character now. And they're really showing it off. I love it. I love it. I really like this trailer. This really saved the night for me. I'm not going to lie. I was not too stoked about Leroy. But, you know, seeing Asuka kind of just brought it back for me. It brought the energy back. I kind of woke up a bit. Definitely the outfit's growing on me just a bit. Just a bit. I'm not going to lie to you. Just a bit. Okay? But she looks great in terms of gameplay, aesthetics, and all that junk. Crazy. She looks good. I'm not going to lie to you. Great character. I'm glad they're really making her a powerhouse character. The powerhouse of Tekken, I would say. So... With that being said, this was the last trailer shown at EVO Japan, and hopefully we get some more trailers <laughs> soon. I'm, I'm hoping, like, we need to see Harang, we need to see Brian, Yoshi, a couple other characters, like, that I really want to see. But for the most part, those three, are, I'm thinking they definitely are coming back to the game. It's looking to be a big roster here, from what I heard. Looking to be a big roster. So, I'll end it there, and I'll catch you guys when the next trailer drops, which I'm not sure will be. <laughs> But we definitely got two for now, and that's great. I, I'm not even going to be, you know, spoiled here. But I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.